day two of the uh, workshop in Thailand. Today we're working counter-offence to start. And we'll do a few principles. Looking at, first of all, frontal response, uh, grab, response to a frontal grab. The difference between somebody grabbing clothing, which is intimidation, as opposed to grabbing your throat, which is potentially attempted murder. So on a psychological level, somebody grabbing your throat is much more significant than somebody grabbing your clothing. So there's an emotional component that we've talked about. Here we're looking at the physical skill. We've used some verbalisation to create an understanding of how intimidating it's going to be. We broke down a skill with a partner, and now Jamie's translating it to impactive kit. The actual physical response is simple. We're going to hit hide and hit low, snatch the fucker to the ground. It's me in this way. It's just clothing. If you feel intimidated by this, if you are unfamiliar with aggressive behaviour, you will, then quite often you can mentally freeze. If you mentally freeze, you will forget that you even train. Nothing will come out. So what you train should be put under pressure. So it's very different for me to grab him for the technique and for me to grab him and fucking intimidate you fucking face cunt! Like this, which is how it would be. If you add this emotional element, I'll give you another t-shirt. Big <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> You add this emotional response, and this is the first time you ever receive this kind of behavioral element, you will freeze. You can do any number of things. You can hold with one hand, and hit with the other. You can slap down to your butt, anything you want. I'm going to give you a simple skill set. You're just going to slap both sides of the head, cringe, knee, and snatch. So, what are you going to do? Then we're going to translate it impact. Okay? Now you are learning the physical components, but you are hitting hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I will isolate the skill, and then maybe the second skill here, I'll cringe, and I'll boom me, boom me, and maybe I put together, and here, so I'll go, To my count. Ready? One, five, six. Harder. Two, three. Three, five, six. Four, five. Last one. Five, five. Good. Now, pads go down to the groin. Tip. Like I said with pad holding. When he knees, I'm going to one right the shot and secondly push. Okay? Right, so you're going to grab the knee, take down. Yeah? You say that for me? Just for the minute, I know, I know, anyway. Okay, then. Two, two, three, 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 two,
synthetic ally. If he has a hood up and I flank him, he can't see me now. Now when I hit him in the head, it's a good shot. Because the best shot is the shot that you don't see coming. As this, I will use this to freak the fucking shit out of him with this. You can apply the idea of what's the earliest thing I can do, what's the next thing I can do, what's the last thing I can do. You can apply that to any counter-offensive skill. So I'm only going to have time to give you two. So the first was the frontal grab, which was more important for me to give you the emotional side. And now I'm giving you a breakdown of first thing you can do, next thing you can do, last thing you can do. Yeah? So let's work off the idea that you have good tactile awareness. In which case, it's one of those situations where as soon as I feel this arm come around here, I'm not waiting for this. It's literally the second I feel that come here, oh, get the fuck off me. It's that kind of, oh, get away from me. On the first touch. Do you understand? Yeah. That takes fast reaction, fast perception. But if you have it, then you can do this. If you don't have it, well then you're going to end up here. In which case, you have a plan. But we'll work off the idea that you do have it. So slowly when he comes with this motion, I just want to duck under and get behind. That's what I'm going to do. I'm literally shrugging him off. Drop my head, shrug my shoulders and come out. Does that make sense? Yep. When I get myself out, I am now behind him with the best target of all. <laughs> so the motion would be, he goes to grab, I fucking react, and then I hit him. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so the motion is slowly, he will come, I will duck underneath and get behind. Now, bam, bam, I'm here. Yeah? <laughs> you come behind, you feel you walk, get out, hit, hit, hit. And then I'm grabbing whatever I can get. If not, get inside of the thigh. You are using a fascia grab. This comes from maiming. So I'm using my fingertips, not prints. And I'm just going to grab whatever I can grab. When I have this here, I am going to pull it as I drive with my shoulder, like a sprinter out of a starting block. What this will do is break his base forward. I will also use this hand to pull on this leg as I drive him forward. Use this toe pump straight up and under the bottom. So literally, boom, up and under it. Right, stick a pad there. From here, just kick it. About 50%. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, so from here, I want you to really put it in. <laughs> Willy it with your shin. Put his testicles in his tonsils. That's me. I cover. I reach up and under and push pull. And if I hit, boom, I kick. That's the deal. Who wants to play? <laughs> yes? <laughs> right, pass it over. This is the last thing we're doing. Right? All right, so you're going to get with your partner, first count, he grabs, cover your head, he gives you one or two taps, this hand, this hand is coming under, under, loose and lazy, and I'm going to grab whatever I can grab. When I've grabbed, I'm not just pulling with my arm, I'm driving with my shoulder and pulling on his leg. So I've created a fulcrum and a lever. And I'm going to drive off my starting block foot. That will put him here. Now, pad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. 
Today, we looked at reactive. This has to begin with how somebody unarmed in the street, which today, to be honest, is a rarity, but how somebody unarmed may attack you. So this could be a guy that thinks you have taken his parking space and now he's getting aggressive and he suddenly grabs you. He could grab you in a headlock or any other number of things. Understand that people grab you and hit you. The martial arts often separate the two. The guy punches you, you defend in this way. The guy grabs you, you defend in this way. The reality is people grab you, then hit you. Or hit you, then grab you. It's integrated. Okay, so with the limited time that I have with you, I can only give you a brief insight. You can only take ideas from a seminar. If you take one idea, or a, whether it's a principle, a skill, or an idea for how to train something, then you, you've got your money's worth, if you like. I would love to have more time with you and show you more things, 
but hopefully with what you've seen, you've got an insight. All that remains is for me to thank you for taking part in the seminar. You all have a very good work ethic. You impress me very much. You work really hard, good intensity, high level of energy. So I appreciate that. I'd like you to, if you can, just give a clap for Jamie and for B for helping me. <laughs> big thank you to all the organisers that made the event possible, including Matt and yourself. If you give a clap. <laughs> and a big thank you to my two guys from the US that came over to also help and take part and support us. If you give them a clap. <laughs> Finally, a big clap for everybody that took part. You all did really well. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Utah, I don't know, where there's some lovely beautiful temples. This is where, uh, hello. hello darling, you're right. John Claude Van Dam apparently made his kickboxing film. There's yeah, somewhere like that in the background anyway. We're going to find the place where he did his exact photo shoot and fuck about and do a little bit of martial stuff. We've got Jamie. And we've got me. Hi. As you can see, or you will see, some beautiful structures here, really lovely. So Ayotea, I believe, something like that. And we've got three to five temples to check out. So I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. Taking a picture of the elephant, look. Don't get many elephants in Leighton Buzzard. <laughs> oh, that goes shit, I'm in the way, eh? Yeah, I know me limits. Helifan. I want to go on the helifan. Lady, look at that. Absolutely melting. It's hotter than the sun. Looking towards the first temple. found a little marketplace that's got an edge weapon paradise really just like two boys in the toy shop just bought loads of shit awesome can't show too much on the camera because they don't like the video but awesome here we are at the old ruins absolutely sweltering totally melting but what a beautiful place. Fantastic sights. Yeah, I'm going to try and do the old John Van Cook Van Damme thing and get a picture doing something martial. But beautiful place. Right, we found the exact part where Jean Claude Van Damme in Kickboxer stood and prayed at the statue of the Buddha. So the one that was just there behind us is exactly where he was. Beautiful place. Ancient ruins, thousands of years old, loads and loads of history. Quite cool that Jean Claude Van Damme was here. Not that I was a fan particularly, but nice to be here. Ancient relic. 
old Siam. Beautiful. Right, just come into Lumpini Park. Gonna find the weights area and the workout area. Apparently they've got a calisthenics training area. It's hot as hell here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit just to uh, maintain greatness as they say. But, um, totally dehydrated already. They'd ship loads of water. Limpini Stadium, this is where we are. Limpini Park, brother, that's where we are. It's very lovely. Apparently, there's reptiles and lizards and crocodiles that you've got to look out for. A beautiful place. Hollow back. Hollow huh? back. Oh, can't even basic calisthenics in this heat. Just fucking wipes you out. But you gotta do it. You gotta say, I've been here, done that. Well, I've been here and done that. Yeah, it's not even. 